Good morning, guys. Hope y'all having a fantastic day today. I sound weird. I don't know what's going on, but I got some stuff going on. But I'm still gonna vlog. Now I know I said today we're supposed to be going to Corvettes of Ocala, and today we would have the video of the uh, movie being, or like my movie review being uploaded. I didn't go and watch the movie last night. I'm actually going tonight. And there will be no Corvette to Ocala because I did math and I can't do both of those things and still have enough fuel to last me until I get paid again. So, unfortunately, that's the way it's got to be. I'm quite upset about it, but it is what it is. I can't change it. That's just how things happen. I don't have, I mean, I'm on three quarters of a tank, a little under three quarters of a tank. And I have to make it until Wednesday. It's Saturday right now. But on a more positive note, like I said, we will still be going to watch the movie tonight. So you guys will get that upload more than likely tomorrow. And it might just be this upload. I might just tie them together. We'll see how that goes. And if it does end up just, you know, being this upload, then all that's going to happen is like, right. What's up, peoples? So as you guys can see, the uh, car, or the uh, Corvette of Ocala thing did not work out yesterday. Um, sorry. All right. Like I said in yesterday's little segment that you guys just watched, I just didn't have the fuel. Um, I did, however, go and see the new Justice League. Before I continue this video any further, if you want to see the movie, which I'm gonna go ahead and give away a little segment of my opinion, you should go see it. Uh, if you do want to see it, don't watch this video. It will contain spoilers. And, uh, so I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Keep the pink shirt. I don't know why you're peeping it. Just peep it now. But, Justice League movie review. Fucking amazing. I really liked it. Um, still does not compare to me, to me personally. Uh, to the Deadpool movie, uh, the, you know, the reaction that I had from that, that's been my favorite, uh, what do you consider that, comic book movie that I've seen. The, uh, the overall review for me, though, of it was it's significantly better than Suicide Squad, which I actually, I, I enjoyed it. You know, a lot of people said that they hated it, which uh, there's understandable reasons on why they hated it. But I, I enjoyed it. But with this movie, I liked, you know, everyone's role. It was kind of strange on how they did a few things here and there, but for the most part, I liked everyone's role. Superman, oh, by the way, Superman comes back in. Um, Superman goes through like this period of needing to remember himself but they totally give that away, like already, whenever they bring, um, the fuck is her name? What is Superman's girl's name? Lois Lane. But they bring her back in. Okay, Google. Superman's girlfriend. Superman's Lois Lane. Lois Lane, ha, I was right. I had to make sure. I already forgot her name from last night when I saw the fucking movie. But they bring her in, and like early in the movie, so you're like, oh, okay. So he's gonna come back because they're not gonna have her in the fucking movie and not have him in the movie. And you're already kind of expecting it because they're not gonna have a Justice League movie without fucking Superman. So, but you know, he comes back and he has to go through like this time of transitioning from being dead to being alive again. Um, Cyborg is like a little bitch. Um, on like little emotional fits on how he, I, I don't know um, I don't really know how to explain him I liked him in the end I definitely liked him he was cool uh, Wonder Woman is Wonder Woman she I mean if you watch a Wonder Woman movie she is pretty much the exact same person Batman I mean he adds more of like a serious note usually with a little bit of undertone of comedy the flash on the other hand is just I, I kind of, I liked him because he was just funny. There's a lot of points in the movie where he made me at least chuckle. So there's that. So I like how everyone all together reacts off of one another. I really appreciate that. Aquaman, my dude. This truck, my dude. Uh, badass. I think that's like the most fucking cool 
depiction of Aquaman that you can present. Because in reality, most people look at Aquaman and they're like, oh, okay, he's fucking pointless. The most pointless fucking superhero. Because he can't even come out of water. He just chills there and doesn't do shit. No. This dude is fucking badass. Like, this is like the most dope Aquaman I've seen. Jason Momoa is a great, a great person to cast for it, too. Uh, he's a great actor. The tattoos is the, I mean, obviously they're not his actual tattoos, I don't believe. But, uh, the tattoos that they got all over him is fucking dope. The, uh, the suit that he wears is, I mean, it's awesome. The suit that he wears is, is real cool. <clears throat> and, uh, I'll be excited to show you guys my idea to go along with that suit. Because, you know, the truck's theme is Aquaman, so... I'm excited to bring you guys along with that as well, but we'll stick to the stick to the movie review. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm getting over like a cold, so I got a lot of stuff in here. So Aquaman, Cyborg, Flash, Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, all of them, they work together amazingly. I love it. I love the movie. I really did. Overall, I'd give it like a solid... I got a solid 7.5 out of 10. I didn't even give Deadpool a full 10 out of 10. I wanted to, because I love that movie, but I gave it a 9. 9 out of 10. There were some things that were kind of like cheesy, and some things that are, but that's, it, it was meant to be cheesy, because it's Deadpool. But, the entire crew of the Justice League crew was getting their fucking asses handed to them. Until, and only until, Superman comes in and just beats this dude's ass. Like, this dude has came through and fucking whooped all of the fucking Amazonians, fucking whooped all of the Atlanteans, was fucking slaughtering everyone. And then, against the actual gods, like, against Wonder Woman, against uh, Aquaman, you know, fucking everyone up. And Superman comes in and just fucking wrecks his life. And so it's kind of one of those things where you're like, alright, so you're telling me that if Superman didn't exist... They would have fucking lost. At which point, there's not really a point in having a fucking Justice League. You just need Superman. So it's one of those things where it was it was a little like eh. the Flash fucks up a lot, which is you know his usual thing. He's good. I'm not saying he's not good. He's definitely good. You hear that? It sounds like there's a fucking ferret underneath my dash. Jesus, I hate this track sometimes. Real quick, we have to run in and get some mayonnaise. And we're back. Mayonnaise retrieval. Mission failed. Just getting totally accomplished. So, back to the review of said movie, because I was doing a pretty shitty job, I feel like. I don't really know. I've never really done a movie review. I'm not a critic. I like most movies to an extent. If it keeps me entertained, I pretty much like it. I'm not one of the people that are like, well, the plot line was kind of twisted and all of this and that and the fuck you. I don't care. Overall, I did enjoy the movie. Just gonna go ahead and say that. I did like it. It was nice. It was fun. It was entertaining. But if you watch trailers for the movie, it kind of gives away parts of the movies where they like, you know, they could tell they were trying to like add in suspense. But it doesn't really work because the trailers took away the suspense I was already trying to be added. I don't really tend to watch trailer movies trailer movies, movie trailers, specifically for that reason, because they usually give shit away. You can tell that they were trying to add in, like, a little bit of suspense on, like, oh, shit, what's fucking gonna happen? But if you watch the trailers, you already know what's gonna happen. Woo! 55, baby! so dangerous. 255 and then all of a sudden this dude just needed to turn in front of me. No blinker, just whoop, gotta turn. Oh, so the uh, suspense aspect to the movie, I mean, I understand that it's a comic book movie, so if you read the comics, you already pretty much know what's gonna happen. But with like Aquaman, you get to see like different parts here and there on like where his backstory changes yet again why the fuck are we stopped everyone else is going except this line of cars if you know anything about Aquaman you know that his backstory has changed quite significantly a lot 
Uh, there's been times where he's fallen off a boat and he grew up in Atlantis and uh, the, his mom was the queen of Atlantis and just all this different types of shit. So you get to figure out his backstory that they depicted in this one, which is actually really good. I'm not gonna give it away because I don't wanna give away the entire movie in case you guys do want to see it. So I'm not gonna give away everything. But to keep this kind of brief, it's a great movie, go see it. I know I really touch topics a lot on Aquaman, but that's because if you are keeping up with the series, you've already seen uh, Wonder Woman. You've already seen Batman. You've already seen Superman. Uh, the Flash, I mean, he's the Flash. Uh, he runs fast and saves people and adds a little bit of comedic relief to the movie. So I like him as well. Cyborg, they touch topics a lot on him as well. Overall, like I said, they did significantly better with this movie in a whole than they did with Suicide Squad. Uh, Suicide Squad, they pretty much touched topics on like this person, this person, and then gave like the world's most brief backstories for everyone else. Whereas this movie, they actually did, you know, obviously you already have Batman's backstory because they already released that movie. You already have Wonder Woman's backstory because they released that movie. You already have Superman's backstory because they released that movie. So you have all of those backstories already covered. So they just went ahead and covered Cyborg, Flash, and um, Aquaman, which isn't all that difficult to cover. And and still make it good and that's what they did so overall like I said I give this movie like a solid 7 out of 10 I thoroughly enjoyed it um, from what I've read critics don't really care for it a lot they like it again better than Suicide Squad which makes sense because it is but it is what it is I like the movie I think you guys should go watch it at least give it a chance uh, that's all I got for you guys today we're pulling into McDonald's real quick to grab some drinks and probably gonna eat something so, thank you guys for watching. If you're just stopping in for the first time, please do hit that subscribe button, leave me a like, and as usual, y'all have a great day. See you next time.